I'm petrified. What I am seeing I with should. my eyes, I, I am not day. impressed. His shot is awful. I'm nervous. Hey, take I'm petrified. Lonzo Ball was one of the most polarizing players ever coming into the league. His rookie season wasn't legendary, but he played solid all season long and showed the Lakers hope for a new culture. Let's recap his first season. We'll check out his shooting first, the most controversial aspect of his game by far. Lonzo shot 36% overall, well below most top rookies. But did anyone really expect Lonzo to shoot well his first year? That's not his strength. Lonzo was solid off the dribble, but only when he's given time. This is probably why he only shot 30% from three. But he has time to quicken his shot and fix his form if he's willing. So as a result, many of Lonzo's threes came when his defender went under the screen, leaving a wide open jumper. He really took advantage here, so teams may stop doing this in the future, opening up more advanced pick and roll opportunities for Lonzo. Also, since Lonzo only made 14 mid-range shots all year, big men normally sagged off on the pick and roll to leave the mid-range open. This normally left pocket passes open. And this also opened up floaters as he got deeper into the defense. Why wouldn't they? Now let's take a look at his passing this year, his obvious strength. Although Lonzo made some advanced pick and roll passes, he really just made the simple passes and reads very well. Overall, he didn't have the ball in his hands as much as many expected because of how he quickly distributed to his team. Brooks does a good job of waiting to see the ball. Lonzo ducks it down. For scoring for the Lakers, Clarkson has half a dozen. Randall has seven. But for a 20-year-old point guard with an extremely young team and system, Lonzo ran the offense very well this season. In the history of this franchise, they don't have a team in 10 years in the league. He's the perfect player to help create the team culture of movement and unselfishness that the Lakers are desperately looking for. The fact is, they're more efficient. They get better shots. The time of possession is lower. The number of points they get per possession is higher. The quality of shots they get is better. Also, his ability to efficiently and quickly get into the lane really helped him quickly rack up assists. Notice how all these drives don't require a bunch of dribbles or time. Lonzo's finishing this year was very crafty and effective against the NBA's bigger and more athletic defender. Watch here as he goes off of his off foot and how he gathers with a narrow euro and extends on this one. He also uses physicality to finish more than many would have expected. Ball drives and scores. Two minutes. Crowd on his feet, underneath, score. And showed great control in the paint for a rookie. So how did Lonzo fit in this year with the Lakers? Well, Lonzo's best when running in transition. We've known that since his high school days. So it helps him that the Lakers led the league in percentage of transition possession. Underneath this layup, long layup, and the Lakers will bring it back the other way. Isaiah for three. ball got it to the trailing yeah. But he was a big part of this, single-handedly creating many fast breaks. That's it. Evan Fournier. 12 minutes tonight. He hasn't missed a shot. He's four for four. Up ahead. Some good hustle. But the 50-50 the balls right now. Lakers have just got more energy for him. Caldwell Polk hard. Rebound Lonzo. Look at this long lead. And it's what up. He also showed that he can play off the ball. 
which would help if another ball dominant star joined him in LA. Notice how well he attacks these closing out defenders on the catch. And notice also how he shoots better as a spot up shooter. Finally, Lonzo showed a ton of defensive potential. His instincts are already there. And his length and quickness really can't be taught. Wing, a stop here and a score, and they'll get that first lead. Oh, unencumbered. Barton throws it up. If we had to give Lonzo a single letter grade, it'll be a solid B. But watch out for the future as the Lakers are building a culture. Do us a favor and make sure to subscribe, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, drop some comments, let us know what you want to see next.